Hi, my name is Samson. I'm a watermelon farmer. The business I've been doing since 2012. And for me, money is on the ground. And this is my story. After completing school back in 2009, started venturing in agriculture. Uh, well, I saw life was difficult for me, so I started agriculture because it was what I, can aff I could afford uh, in terms of capital. Uh, it has been a good journey so far. So I started with cabbages, and after growing the cabbages from the little capital I got, it's when now I started venturing in watermelons back in 2012. Watermelon farming, I saw it was not so bad compared to maybe tomatoes and onions because the expenses of watermelons was not so much high as compared to onions and tomatoes because uh, watermelon farming, may, first of all, the time taken for harvesting watermelons is two and a half months. So I saw it as a good venture in agriculture because there was a shortage of the time of planting to harvesting. Well, most of the farming I do in watermelon is land which I lease. So I don't own land my, myself specifically. I just lease, lease land for watermelon farming. So <coughs> the issue of leasing land again comes very difficult because sometimes you find that the land you have leased is not the best for watermelons. And you will, most of the cases you have to find land which is I say I can say a virgin land. Yeah. So most of the times we just look for land which is which has not been utilized. So again, that's a challenge for us as farming in, a, in watermelons. Currently, I'm doing it on one like a piece of land. Now farming watermelon maybe in one piece of one like a piece of land. Uh, cost and expenses depends on the weather conditions. For example, the January, February, March season was very hot so i had to do a lot of watering pest control fungicides and fertilizer application so basically expenses depend on the piece of the area you are in for example first of all because uh, different areas have different climatic conditions so i cannot say that maybe for example we are using 100,000 kenya shillings on a one, one acre piece of land in maybe Mwea, the same will be used in Kajiado because it depends on the weather conditions, as I have said, uh, different type of soils. So it varies depending on the place you are doing it. One, piece, one acre piece of land here in Mwea, because the farming is, this area is called Mwea. For example, me, I've used up to now 90,000 Kenya shillings on starting from renting uh, plowing the farm, making the furrows, uh, fertilizer, the seeds, and the labor which I've put here, fungicides, so it varies. I'm expecting about 12 tons for the, for the first grade, the grade one, and after harvesting the 12 tons, I'm expecting maybe uh, like four or five tons for grade two. A kilogram of watermelon now goes for 17 Kenya shillings. But I was, I was expecting more, about 25, because it normally ranges up to, it normally goes up to 25 Kenya shillings per kg. So relatively, it's a bit low, but I can say it's not so bad. The duration from planting to harvesting, I say, is very short. So that's what I, what I like about watermelon farming. The other beautiful thing about watermelon farming is that you can harvest it twice, or even the rice, depending on the soil you are, you are doing the farming, the weather conditions, and the first harvest is, 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 is always the most, yeah, maybe for one acre you get 12 tons or more, depending on the input, the weather conditions, and the climate conditions, and then the second harvest is normally a bit lower than the first, 
but again it's not bad because it's also money which is coming into your pocket so watermelon farming is good because you can harvest it twice and you take the shortest time from planting to harvesting since i started farming watermelon one of the biggest challenges i've had in watermelon farming is climate changes due to the weather patterns which have changed uh, it has affected adversely in, in terms of watering uh, insecticides have been so much in fact the prices have skyrocketed uh, challenge, another challenge which has been here in watermelon farming is uh, fertilizer prices have gone up the fungicides have gone up basically there's been inflation in all the inputs in watermelon farming so I've tried to make sure that I, I reduce the expenses from the watering to insecticide to fungicides so from for example in my farm I've tried making the process for the watermelons so that they hold the water so that water does, don't run abundantly in my farm so I reduce the expenses of pumping the water from the river up to the farm where I'm doing the farming when I began farming in watermelon back in 2012 there was, the weather was not so hot as today so today we have to do a lot of watering uh, there have been a lot of pests and diseases which were not there back in 2012 so that again has been a challenge for us we have to cope with so i can say there's been a very great change in weather conditions and which has again negatively affected our input in agriculture specifically in watermelon farming in trying to address the challenges i've had in watermelon farming for example, I've been to even trying to uh, do some work myself so that I reduce the expenses of labor. Uh, when it comes to fertilizer, I've been using manure so that uh, the, the, the use of fertilizer is reduced. So manure has been a, another uh, thing I've been trying to put in my farm to, to reduce the expenses. For a young farmer who wants to venture into watermelon farming, uh, my advice to them will be first of all to maybe contact an agronomist because there are very different challenges depending on weather patterns the, uh, the place you are doing you are want to do the farming of the watermelons so you need maybe to look at the type of soil because soil again matters when it comes to watermelon farming for example watermelon farming cannot do better in black cotton soils so you maybe have to consult an agronomist when trying to venture into watermelon farming secondly you can visit farmers who have been doing farming of the watermelon so that you can ask what they have been doing the weather patterns how been trying to control that uh, the marketing how they have been doing that so that you are good to go for now i'm doing one acre farm of watermelon i'm looking forward to maybe doing two or three uh, as i go on because of <coughs> i was doing a good a uh, big farm but again weather patterns have changed so I, I've had to cut my cost in, in terms of input so I'm looking for maybe in the next in the near future doing a bigger farm than one acre that was my agribusiness story sweet from the farm straight to my pocket what is your story share it so sweet Tamu sadna.